So it's a beautiful day outside, as you can tell. Not sarcasm, I actually like the rain. But we're here eating some pre-workout meal. Um, we're about to train in a little bit, some chest and back. Um, and if you don't notice the quality upgrade from last video, notice it from this video. We got this new Sony camera, Sony A6000. Gonna do some snazzy edits, some snazzy quality. So check out this edit we just made. I'm looking for someone to hold, someone to care, someone who's there. I try to find someone who's me, knows how I be, take it from me, I don't want to be lonely. You know your boy can edit like that. <laughs> you just saw our chest and back workout. He did a really good job editing. I can't edit anything to save my life. I don't Still know that stuff, but we're about to go get pizza at Belmont Pizza. We've never been there before. We just wanted to try somewhere new. It's in, here in Shore Pump. And we've been weighing in like lean beans. Really low. Really low. So. Lower than we should be getting out of a cut. Yeah. So but. I think our metabolism is just kicking up. So. Yeah. So I'm we're gonna, gonna get go fat again. Eat some pizza and then maybe even like Halo Top tonight. But you'll probably see that later. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Can I eat it now? It's too good. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Why did we give up eating pizza? We were so hangry too. Yeah. The hangry feeling is real. But not anymore. <laughs> so we were talking about maybe going somewhere. And the only place she ever wants to go <laughs> is the grocery store. I love the grocery store. We have a food problem. Is my favorite place. Morning, YouTube. Yes, it's still raining. I think it's supposed to rain like the whole week. But on the way to meet a friend, uh, I've known him since I was like in kindergarten. He is going to William and Mary in the fall for uh, cross country and track. So it's really interesting to just connect with him and catch up on stuff, and also just kind of just compare our styles of training and what we know and learn. Because he's more of a stay lightweight, long distance running, and I'm of course gain muscle, not a ton of cardio. So it's you know it's funny to catch up, try and try some of the, the way he trains, and um, you know give him a little nuggets of advice too. <laughs> Sipping on some black coffee with my boy Zach. Yeah. Um, he wants me to try this kombucha, so I'm gonna give this a shot. I think it's supposed to be like probiotics, gut health, stuff like that. <laughs> apple cider vinegar. Yeah, what so, is this for? so uh, this kombucha is basically fermented black tea, and uh, it's supposed to be good for gut health and really just improving your immune system and helping with inflammation so like I'm a big runner and my Achilles sometimes gets inflamed and so like I try to eat less inflammatory diet and this kind of helps maintain that as well as improve, improving gut health and just keeping me healthy and it's got a hundred percent pure love in the ingredients so, so you know it's good it's you good know it's you. good good for you all right so headed home had some good talks like always with my boy Zach now I'm about to drive home, eat a little something, and then we're gonna go train with Maddie at Gold's. So we got squats today, so I'll see y'all when I'm on the way. Did he just put his camera in the fridge? Yeah, I did. Pre-workout meal, very important. Try eating nothing or eating very little and doing a leg workout. 
Yeah, you're gonna notice it. So I really noticed this last year when I was cutting and I was getting really weak on my leg days. And so I tried throwing in some more rice cakes and upping my carbs before my workout. My strength was a lot better than what it was. So what I'm typically eating for pre-workouts now is some white rice, chicken breast or some form of meat or protein really. And also three or four rice cakes. So this gives me a good like 80, 90 grams of carbs, some protein, and then also maybe a pinch of fat. But really I'm focusing on the carbs and the energy source. But when you're thinking about what you should include in your pre-workout meal, I'd suggest 60 to 80, 90 grams of carbs if you're a guy, 40 to 60 if you're a girl, and just see how it affects your workout. <laughs> hey what, Maddie. This girl gets Starbucks almost daily and never uses I forget. the freaking rewards we have so we rush. get no points. <laughs> Don't do high rep squats. Anything above three reps is cardio. You're doing great. So we're making some stir fry right now. And um, we're using just some like Costco chicken. We're gonna add some vegetables, just frozen vegetables, some rice. Maybe oh, an, an egg. egg. Yeah, yeah an, an egg, egg in because in a stir fry. Yeah. Like a, you do eggs. You do <laughs> eggs in stir fry, so we're shifting it up. Yep. The world in the kitchen wrist, just like a stir fry. Hold them bands down. Hold your mans down. Who told you come around? All right, people. We're getting in the video here. Uh, we'll catch you on the next video Monday with the whole how to macro video. So that's going to be how to find the macros, what to do with them, you know, how to. So that's gonna be. <laughs> so that's gonna be what macros are, how to find them, what to do with them, all that good stuff. So comment, like, subscribe, do all that craziness, and we'll see you on the next one.